<laughs> so then that leads into the next question. If you had to fart, if, where would you fart? If you could go back in time and be the guy that recommends you your first anime from everything that has even come out since then, like from everything that is out right now, so you don't need to limit it to like what was out at the time so that like, I'd be so introduced what would be the one thing that you wish was your first anime? So, that you could rewatch with a completely clean slate. So if I could go... No, not that. Not a show that you would like to rewatch for the first time but to have this be no the i mean first rewatch show. with no memory or recollection of ever watching yeah it. so you get yeah but it has to be with no recollection of any anime not are just you, are that are you saying show. that we're the same age we are now or will we go back in time to being you like can 12? choose anything you no. can go back okay. to any time we'll to talk to yourself age, and 18. recommend so, your first anime ever from any anime that's come out now well, technically, I guess, like, the first animes I watched were, like, Dragon Ball and Sailor Moon and all that shit. But the first one I watched all the way through, like, from episode 1 to 20-whatever, and was, like, my first anime anime that I watched, watched, was was Nadesco. And if I had to recommend it again, go back to that time when I watched that, I would go back to him and I would say, dude, you should rewind the VHSs and just watch this again. Because Nadesco's the shit. It is our so, scale. Nadesco for some. Here's the thing. I'd give that shit a solid Oreo. Because Nadesco is a robot anime. There's a little bit of Japanese culture in it, not too much, but there's just enough. Because they practice all like the they you know, they're on the ship for God's sakes. They're mostly Japanese people. And there's there's robots, there's action, there's a that nice splash of comedy. Actually it's it's mostly comedic than it is drama but like then you know as it gets as it builds to the climax you know there's more drama obviously there's more twists there's more what the fuck is going on and you know there's still those little elements of comedic there's romance you know like there's that i love you moment and it's it's just pretty a pretty solid would i recommend it more than cowboy bebop probably not but i don't know for you yourself like for me myself i would if I didn't say Cowboy Bebop, which is probably like a general one, we would say, I would say Nadesco. And the dub is you know, decent. It's not bad. It makes me pretty sad to think about having to choose something other than Ereka 7 as the first anime oh, that I one. ever watched completely all the way through. But if I had to choose a different one to get me hooked on anime... I'm going to go out of left field here and say Shin Sakai Yori. Oh, I did not expect What? <laughs> Wait, the Shin dub or the Sekai sub? Shin Sakai Yori sub. Yeah, I didn't like the dub very much. Because, for one, I'm a really, really fast reader. Subtitles are not a problem for me. And I really, really, really like the way that Shin Sakai Yori pitches and tells its story. And I like a lot of the elements to it. It's just awesome the way that it's done. And sure, the animation isn't as good as what it could be considering the year that it came out. Yeah, that was in but, uh, Sword Art Online, right? A1 yeah. Pictures did both yeah. of them. Same, yeah, same year, same everything. But I'm really a sucker for that kind of, you know, dark kind of show. So I think that if I had watched that first, I would be just as well off, if not better. Because Shin Sakaiori. <laughs> From the New World. From the New World. That's actually the name of the song they play all the time. You can yeah. find it on YouTube. It's pretty cool. Yep. But that's 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 the one I'd have to say. Interesting. What about you, Coco? I've been spending quite a lot of time thinking about this. Because the one thing is you want to be good enough that you keep watching anime. But also not so good that you can't ever beat it. That's why I chose Shin Sakai Yori. Because <laughs> that certain thing where it's just like, once you've seen it, you can't really go Yolo, back to man. that feeling Legend again. Legend of the Galactic Heroes, just do it. But you just want to go back to that, <laughs> I mean, that period of once... your time when every new anime you watched was your new favorite anime because you yeah. had still only seen like 10 things. So, Quoka, would you be a Narutard to start out and run with your hands behind your back? Uh, no. I'm tempted. I almost I, wanted to say I never, that. even though I like read the manga religiously up to that point i never really picked up the show as i mean like just the first believe it i was just like nope i'm out i'm done that, 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 not? <laughs> that was the english dub with the believe it 
believe it. In the first, you know, outside of your, well, I guess the first anime thing that I can remember ever watching was Totoro. Ooh, yeah. My neighbor Totoro. There's a bunch of dubs for that one, too. There's, like, a Disney one and then another one. I like the one that wasn't the Disney one. Well, there's probably a fan dub and then the Disney one. I'd have to watch it again. I don't know, though. Yeah, back in the day, like, like in the 90s and all that shit, like, there's two dubs for Dragon Ball Z, for God's sakes. And there's the Funimation one and then the Ocean dub. And the Ocean dub is just fucking weird. I don't know. It's really weird. It's really bad. Um, Probably unlicensed. Yeah, it, I think that's why they got in trouble in the first place. But um, I think, uh, yeah, there's the Disney dub, and then there's the Fox 50th Street Films dub. And the English dub for for uh, My Neighbor Totoro was done in 2005 by Disney, and that had like Dakota Fanning and Elle Fanning. And then the one I watched, I believe, was the Fox one. But... I watched whatever one was out before Pokemon came to the U.S. Then you probably watched the Fox, the Fox 50th Streamline Pictures one. But then there's also, um, there's also, uh, I remember watching Kiki's Delivery Service on the Disney Channel. And, uh, I love that movie. That's my favorite Ghibli dude, movie. It's not the best one, Ghibli? but it's my no, favorite one. No, Kiki's Delivery Service, I agree. Kiki's Delivery Service is the shit. But, um, they, that one, that double. I definitely like it better than Spirit Away and. Howl's Moving Castle. I agree. Well, yeah. No, I agree. I, I might agree. I'd have to rewatch them, but I, for right now, I do agree. I like Kiki better. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a Ghibli episode later. Yeah, dude, we should. But um, I, de- I definitely got to rewatch Spirited Away, like, for sure. And then sure. the first series I properly watched would have probably been Cowboy Bebop or most of Evangelion. I don't think I ever finished it. Evangelion sucks. <laughs> yeah. For anybody out there, do not start with the Evangelion. Yeah, <laughs> please don't. As much, for the hey, love man, of God, they had it on Toonami, and it had giant robots. Okay, I'm just saying. Evangelion sucks. I mean, actually, you could start with it, but you wouldn't appreciate it enough. It would be weird. Yeah, would, yeah. Maybe Evangelion a little bit of why sucks. I don't appreciate it as much as I should <laughs> is because the, my first exposure was way back then. Yeah, I've watched it yeah. more recently than that, but you'll you'll like it more after you've had more. But I adult. think the show that would have made me. Become a total fucking weeb. Khaled Prisma liner. I mean, Ilya, we all are. We Lally, all. We have an anime podcast. Of course, bullshit. we're all weebs. But what would have really made me a weeb was had I been able to see Gurren Lagan when I was a kid. Oh, Gurren. If Lagan, when I was thirteen, Gurren Lagan was on. That's good. That'd have been done. I would have. But never you're basically talked to starting a girl from ever. the top there, though. That's a problem because you're starting. No, from because like... it is. It's so like specialized in what it is good at. Yeah. That it does, I don't feel like it really destroys like your ability to experience other things. I am really shocked he didn't say anything about lolis. Wow. Yeah, there's you not know, a single loli in Girl in the Gun. A 13 oh year old God. can't properly Quoka, appreciate Quoka. lolis. Are you okay? okay? Are, you, are you feeling okay? I a 13 year old can't properly appreciate okay? lolis. Quoka, how many fingers am I holding because up? Because to a 13 year old, <laughs> he's been shell shocked. are lolis. <laughs> he's been shell shocked. Something's wrong with Quoka. Did you, did you not even hear my ex- explanation? Like, to a 13-year-old, they're all lolis oh, or something? Yeah, because every girl that a 13-year-old knows is a loli. It doesn't Lolis. matter. Quoka. <laughs> this is, There's this nothing is coming special from about Quoka. them. This is coming from Quoka. It has to be flat loli. Flat is justice. Yeah, flat, flat just is justice. Is a rarity. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm saying, oh, yeah, saying you're in the gun. I would have never talked to a girl after that. Yeah. yeah. I mean. <laughs> you would be in your in the car. You'd be like, <laughs> let's go. Anaki, <laughs> brother. Don't believe <laughs> Don't believe in yourself. Believe in the me that believes in you. I am a Gundam. <laughs> yeah, some some girls like I I My like drip. you, and you're like, don't no. believe in yourself. No, just quote him. <laughs> who the hell do you think I am? <laughs> yeah, just just look at the girl, and be like, who the hell do you think I am? My drill will pierce the heavens. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you just spend your whole time in detention. I am a Gundam. You know I would have oh, worn those Gundam glasses double o be, to school every day. One, actually. Okay, if I had to pick one, I'd, go out of, I'd pick another Gainax show. I'd pick Fooly Cooly. No. That's that. No, you no, wouldn't. Okay. That'd but be I, so weird, terrible. This is for me, though. I'm a weird dude. So, like, I loved it when I first saw it, and I first saw it when I was, like, 15. Yeah, same here. So, same here. I think, I think here. it's, it's <laughs> not I like something 20. I would recommend to most people. But for me, if it was the first thing I saw, it would, it would be... Just as influential as it was now. Yeah, it is now. I'd probably recommend it to myself too. If I'm thinking about me, 
See, but the problem, so the problem with me, so though, fun. is that it doesn't really have that solid hook. It's just there. I mean, the it's whole great. thing is the hook. It's great for what it is. I love Fooly Cooly. I really but do. But you know what, but though? If that was the first show that I watched and said, here, watch anime because shit's awesome, I'd be like, uh... <laughs> and I, I actually no, and then I go into another show and be like, "Where are the manga?" But I, I agree with that though because, like, Fully Cooly, when I first watched it and discovered it was only six episodes, I thought that was really weird. So that might throw me off a little. That might throw someone off a little bit. It's it's like the length of a movie though. That's but, true. Yeah, I don't know. If I if I had to go less out of left field, out of, out of like a weird show, I would probably pick. Uh, I'd pick Full Metal Panic. No, because I just I just finished Full Metal Panic recently. Yeah, but Full Metal <laughs> and here's the thing about it, like it's Full Metal Panic's it, a it, rip off of uh, Nadesco, by the way. Why that's is that, fine. That's why is fine. That no, I'm not saying it's the best show ever. It's just it's just a show to give me a taste, to get me into it. <laughs> it has a good dub and it's funny. And Fumofu, Full Metal Panic from Ofu is fucking hilarious. Isn't there supposed to be a new Full Metal Panic thing coming out? Yeah, there's a third season coming. You're out. You're a third season. Anyways, my final thought is Nadesco. Okay, here's the thing. Nabisco <laughs> scale wouldn't be a thing on this show if it wasn't for Martian success. And you know what? Here, I'll say this. My fiance, who's like still, like, you know, she's she's more casual than me, okay? She loves Yeah, them. she only a little bit puts up. She, she loves, yeah, that's true.